G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jedi. So, we have... Module? Modules! We have 51 Productivity Module 6s in stock. Which means I want to start spending them. Uh, and logically, like if we look down the bus, there's a couple of items we could definitely need. Well, definitely do with. One is red circuits. One is, in theory, blue circuits. Um, I'm not so confident on my red circuit analogy, but we're going to waste some on... I'm not so positive on my blue circuit analogy, because it definitely looks like we've got enough. But I'm going to waste them on green circuits for blue circuits anyway. Um... Main reason is, uh, and and we should talk to Jedi Editor. Um, remember, this is the point where you put in the the, the overlay for the Factorio cheat sheet calculator. Um, and I don't know that'll appear somewhere on the screen. Good Jedi, uh, good editor Jedi. So, what the calculator says is your return on investment uh, for. Kill these belts. Wait for them to drain. Okay, so your return on investment for your module threes, and in the case of module sixes, it should be the same, just probably a longer to return on your investment. Um, is rocket silo first? You definitely get a payback from your rocket silo. Where is it? Within like a, a couple of minutes. Okay, honestly, because so many resources go into a rocket silo. Um, then your next payback payback is actually your labs because again a lot of resources go into labs for science your next one is like yellow science purple science uh then acid of all things then blue circuits so this is your return on investment how long it takes you to how long it's going to take you to get the materials that you you well get save enough materials for the cost of the modules that you put into these buildings. Um, so then blue circuits, then red circuits. And I'm actually going straight to red circuits. Uh, main reason being... Uh, actually, that was not so bad. Uh, main re uh, I'm going... Ugh. I'm going to think before I talk. I'm actually going straight to green circuits. And the reason I'm going for green circuits rather than um, blue circuits and, and the different sciences is um, green circuits I put a lot of resources into and they're base resources. So they're they're iron and copper. And even right now, like I could I could definitely do with not having more what happened? Oh. They failed. Uh, where were we? We're using that upgrade planner. I could definitely do with not having... Uh, well, I, I, I could do with just putting them straight to blue circuits. But I want to save my iron and copper, basically. Um, I don't need... To put a great, great emphasis on saving them currently. But it really doesn't hurt for me to save those resources uh like we just ran out of copper only a moment ago on some of our early uh, that goes in there that goes in there upgrade planner that goes up to i wanted to cut these i don't want to refill them again oh, bad JD. um I want to have an underground in here and hook up that wall belt. Um, I want to save resources number one um, because we just ran out of uh, one of the early copper patches and basically I, I, I want to avoid as much as possible um, at least until we have a proper train network up and running that's self-sustained and is going to be Let's just put a power pole right there in the middle. Yep. Yeah. Um, at least until we're at a point where we can outpost super easily. Um, I guess this sort of gives away spoilers. Uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time 
on maintaining the ore patches in this base until we get up to until we get train supply manager running um at which point like outposting becomes a nothing it really really is a nothing um what will end up happening is i'll put a large power pole from there to there um what will end up happening is i will uh basically automate the train so when i go and get a new outpost it train supply manager takes over all the scheduling of the trains um and it means that basically i just need to make sure that iron iron in matches iron out uh let's cut that let's remove all that these are purple underground so a little bit expensive i want to make sure i use them at max length uh, run that belt there's another underground uh, again just oh, and another one uh, that one straight into another underground and you can come to here uh, there to there to there uh, purple belt That can go away, that can go away. Oops. Uh, purple underground. There, there. Remove that, remove that. So the biggest, yeah, the biggest thing with Train Supply Manager is it means I can set up outposts and from that point forth, my... that that's going the right direction uh, purple belt goes into there we actually cut that belt off purple belt goes in there we cut that one off okay so the way train supply manager works which we're, we're gonna get to like this week this week it's a plan for this week is that looks bad uh no they're dead yeah laser mark two for the win um the way train supply manager works is i set up like iron one iron two iron three iron four and then if base needs iron or copper whatever it happens to be it just finds a iron train that has iron in it and calls the train to the station so i really don't have to do anything and that's really what i want to do i want to just try and try and avoid as much as possible upgrading this base with resources etc 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 until i have uh squeezed basically everything i can out of this base or out of these resource patches um i'm just trying to avoid like i said avoid outposting try to stretch things as far as i can um with however many modules that was spent uh what is it uh four five six seven 14 modules spent i have broken that actually it's a underground uh, a normal belt so with 14 modules spent i've gone from what i think i had one blue belt we have one blue belt of green circuits out to twice that amount so one purple belt uh for a little bit more iron cost but on the flip side i've cut two blue belts off this green circuit build which has put more green circuits into the into the possible bus which hasn't increased our blue circuit yield at all uh but the fact that there's sixteen thousand in the network means i don't really need to what i do really need to do is i need to work out what the story is with red circuits um back to the return on investment 
uh, calculator thing, factory cheat sheet. Um, yet yeah, red circuits, you don't get a payback on for a very, very long time when it comes to modules. Um, you know, you have... Well, you have the two sciences, like I said. Then you actually have sulfuric acid, of all things. Um, not that I've ever stopped and put big modules in sulfuric acid early, early on. Actually, I, I, I lie. I I generally upscale the modules so fast that I'll put them in acid, purely because it simplifies the build. Um, I generally put them in green circuits first. There's a laser there. Uh, green circuits first, um, as we did here, purely because it saves... It saves so many resources, um, even though the calculator says it's better to put them in blue circuits first, um, or actually uh, with an 8 to 8 beacon, which is, this is technically a, like a 12 beacon, let's go on a 12 beacon. So on a 12 beacon setup, which costs more modules, don't forget, uh, in green circuits, they take an hour and eight minutes to pay back um, when using prod mod threes. With blue circuits, on a 8 to 8 beacon, which we don't even have. We have even lower than that. Um, which probably brings the time down, actually, to even less time. Um, they actually pay back in 23 minutes. So they pay back really fast here. But I generally go for green circuits first. Because if you can up your green circuit count by using modules and beacons, you can lower your iron and copper usage, which normally means you can extend your blue circuit build. Um, quite substantially sometimes and yeah they're definitely all running um, and actually let's just check this you should be using 88 and a half good you're using the other 88 and a half and all up this particular build is outputting 24 that's a fast belt that does 30 per second so that's heaps okay um, so yeah I, I, I tend to go for green circuits first blue for circuit second um, you know Blue circuits pay back in 23 minutes with an 8 to 8 beacon design. Green circuits pay back in 33 minutes. Red circuits... Uh, hang on, I went for the page load. Don't pay back for an hour and four minutes. Like, plastic's more efficient. And then uh, sulfur's more efficient that we've already done. Well, before it was sulfuric acid. I did the both together. And then sulfur. And then copper cable, which we'd already done, along with green circuits. Uh, iron, iron sticks... Um, rocket, uh, rocket control. I, I was going to say rocket controllers. It's robot frames. Robot frames. That's the item I'm looking for. Low density structures. Brick of all things. Red circuits is after brick. It's that bad. Um, but no, what I want to do is I have, and we're making them fairly fast. And that's why I wanted to wait till now when we're actually making them at like one every two minutes, but that's fairly fast. All things considered. Um, I want to do a red circuit because this is pathetic. Um, if I can take in the same amount of resources but get back so many more red circuits, it would probably fix our bus problem, which means like shields are going to start being made faster, which means doo -doo 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 -doo, we can start making protection field fields faster along with um, fusion reactors faster. Fusion reactors is probably mainly limited by... That not being a stack inserter, it's now a stack inserter, so that should be a little bit better. Actually, I probably should add two stack inserters to it, because it's like 250. What is it? It's 250. And then it takes how long to craft? 10 seconds. Yeah, I should probably have a couple of stack inserters over there. Whatever. We'll worry about that later. So, what I want to do is I want to take one of you guys. I want to pass that over the top of you. And then I want to wrap the hell out of you with beacons. Now, this is more beacons, but we can, before the modules arrive, see we're going to put in 2.6 and get back 1.8. Can we have these modules show up, please? There we go. Uh, so 2.6 for 1.8 changes to 2.6 for 3.14. So many, 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 many more items out per second. And if we put down one of these so you stop flashing at me, that shouldn't change any of the numbers. No, it doesn't. Um, so yeah, this is what I'd really like to do. Now, in saying that, I have to work out 
I have to work out basically, is it worth it putting it in a copper cable machine? And I have a feeling the answer is probably going to be no. You took out a laser. Don't do that, Biters. Please don't. Yeah, that's already taken a sizable chunk out of that copper patch. We should probably remove that rock so you guys can go around it. I don't have to go around it. Hmm. I'm also worried about how long this is going to last. Alright. Uh, oh, wrong button. So you're going to make 75 per second. That's an incredible amount. You only need five. So if I run them both together, I actually have... Huh? Net machines. 0.9. Oh, okay. So I could probably have nine times as many of these guys. All right. If I cut you guys down to those ones, you now output 44. So a blue belt's worth. And that's still 0.8. Okay, ignore this number. There, that, that's more reasonable because it means I can spend more of the modules in these guys. You need five copper cable in. You're producing 44, so I can have one to eight, basically. Uh, let's move you as high as possible. So I still have to work out how to get... Same problem I had here. I have to work out how to get... The green circuits and the plastic in, the copper cable in, and the red circuits out. Uh, so same old, same old problem. Uh, okay. So we're going to... And you produce how much? It was like 45. 44 and a half. And you produce three. Three times eight... Three times eight is 24. Okay, so what I can do is I can have you output onto a strip of purple belt, which undergrounds are so expensive. Oh, if I move that over a tile, underground suddenly became a whole lot less of a problem. Okay, and then we go Input, output, moving the beacon over a tile hasn't changed any of the ratios. They're still exactly the same. It just means I can run things with a straight belt. Okay. Um. In this design, we're taking, I'm fitting copper up the out, oh, up the inside of this. We only need 16, so I can probably do the exact same. I want okay I want eight times that number is eight times that number two is 16 16 so blue belt is more than enough overkill in fact uh, which then means technically I need red belt copper which then I can shove out a tile. Uh, upgrade. Okay, let's try this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Cool, that gets tight. Okay. Alright, wait for some modules to arrive. Hit you again with the upgrade planner to get a green belt. And then we'll go one, one more to get a purple belt. And one more to go purple belt speed. Uh, in theory, you don't have to stay purple belt, but I'm lazy, so I'm probably going to leave you as purple belt. Uh, no, all our modules have arrived. Excellent. So, this now does nine assembly machines. 
is 21 and 21 in, which is blue belt speed, which we are already providing. Yes, we're already providing. It's red belt copper cable in, which we're definitely already providing, and it's 25 out. And this build was 35 out. But with a blue belt of each. And this is now one blue belt. So it's half the amount of materials in for almost the same amount of materials out, basically. Okay, so that rubber port needs to go away. Uh, that loop pipe is going to mark the top of our construction. And if I slice things here and here and here, hopefully you can drain a little bit. And then we should be able to replace this build with this build. And this does 25, this does 35, but I can put down two of these. If I have the modules, which I probably don't. Just for the record, this used, I didn't look. If I hold down shift, I get a proper blueprint. This used 32 modules and I had 50 odds. So I could probably just squeeze out two of them. Okay, rip all that up. That included, that included, that can go as well. That can go as well. I'll leave that there so I know that's the output. Well, it's going to be the empty, but of course it's the output. All right. If I cut that, I want to move it as far left as possible. In theory, you slot in right there. You're missing power. Have some power. Okay. So you would be copper in. So we can start that flowing. Uh, you're going to be inputting, you're going to be outputting. Actually, I can put that in the build and filter out red circuits and straight away drop the belt speed because purple belt be expensive. Uh, I do not want you going out there. I really want you coming out here and jumping on that belt there so then we need green circuits and plastic we need half a belt of each so we know from previous examples that if i take one of those and one of those and smash the two belts together it's like smashing the like button go on smash it you know you want to every other youtube t youtuber tells you to do it all right and we bring that up there like that that should just magically work why did copper not get to the end oh because that's too far for a red belt good trick helps if you look at these sorts of things uh, okay. Now, when copper finally gets up here, uh, actually, it turns out I have a crap ton of copper cable in my inventory. Red circuits come out. Red circuits bounce out that belt and slow down immediately, like 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 several G's. It's just like hitting a brick wall, and we have circuits out, which means, in theory, I can do that. I can do that. I can say, how much are you using? You're using 16. And... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to double check some maths. So you're using 16 to produce 44, but we only actually need 42. So there's a little bit of overproduction. Which probably means... Probably means I need to put a substation about here and about here to power everything up. 
probably means I can use the same red belt of copper. do that build as well. Thanks, autosave. Uh, you come out and what do you need to go to? You need to go to here, which means it's probably easier just to bring you there to there to there. Done. Technically it means this copper belt's useless. Although, now that I know that it's there, we're just going to use that belt instead. Uh, it just seems like the wiser move. Now, you're producing 23. We're up to 44.9. Okay, so in theory, we're safe to do that. And that should give us a blue belt with a red circuits out. I want to say green circuits. Blue belt with a red circuits out. And we're only seven modules short. Which will only take us 14 minutes to replace. But the good news is we went from this looking belt to... That's not fair. You even took out robots. We went from a belt that looks like this to a belt that looks like this. And once those modules arrive, it'll stay like that. Like, it even looks like we actually have more than 45 items per second. Technically, he should output. Hang on, we come through the corner. Do we need that balancer? No, we don't technically need that balancer. You know what? It's a matter of principle. We're just going to upgrade. That's all green belt. That's all green belt. That's all green belt. It makes it around the corner. You still can't output. That is a solid belt. Uh, I don't think that needs to be there anymore. How do you feel about things now? Oh, 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 oh! It's it's finishing products. Okay, it's definitely working now. Alrighty. Just had to throw some green belt in the mix and then problem solved. Okay, so I still need 11 modules. It did say seven before. Why did the number go up? Okay. Uh, three, four. You need three. You need a one. That makes four. Five, six, seven. Why are you now saying eleven? I don't know why you're saying eleven. Oh, this one. Okay, so it's definitely 11 modules. So it's going to take the base a minute to get them done. Uh, we'll just empty whatever's in our... In our inventory. Alright. So train tracks. I figured that's probably... Train tracks? Do we do train tracks? No, look, I'm not going to even do train tracks. Um... We have 107 rockets launched. We're flicking our way through Fast and Light A, which is purely limited currently by our labs. Yes, Red Science is backed up. In fact, only half the machines are running. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable... We have 
four labs running. I'm going to enable two more labs, which means remove that belt and that belt, put that on there, which also means I just added a shortage of another four modules. We made one of them and you're not getting, oh, okay. That one's also disabled. So I upgrade that one. How many of you are now fired up? Okay. You produce seven, four hundred per minute. We're only doing two hundred. Okay. I'm definitely going to click that button, click that button, add another four modules to our list of things that were the basis requesting. And now I'm going to call it an episode. So. I said 400. Which means another two laps. Uh, I just doubled our module request. Yeah. Which means we should tick through this research a little bit faster. Because I'd really like to get fast and like... At least part A done. Uh... I'd also like you to launch a command capsule. Astrometrics lab, command module, which requires productivity modules, which requires to have more than 450 in the network, and there's minus 10. Yep. I have no idea where they're all going. There's still minus 10. Oh, because you have a request on. You're not meant to have a request on. You're, you don't have a request on. Okay, maybe that's fixed our problem. Because these are only meant to run when there's lots and lots in the network. Logistic storage, seven. Eight. Yeah, it's counting up now. Much better. All right. Okay, this is definitely where we're going to end this episode. Um, Red Science is ticking along a little bit faster. Um, we have a definite module shortage, which I expect probably from this point on won't go away. Not unless we... Um, well, actually, no, I just expect it won't go away. Um, not until we have lots of them. And we can start upgrading like this build to have prod module sixes to then have... A new red circuit build that has prod module sixes to then have a blue circuit build that has prod module sixes and then we can probably start making prod mod sixes in a decent quantity in large amounts but that's like well we, we looked at it, it was like several thousand modules to just do that build um and that obviously goes up exponentially from there uh we do have 20 speed module sixes which i'm not touching i don't even know what to put them in um Actually, now I do. You could be really effective here and here, and here and here, and here, and that's as far as we got. Consumption, 10 minute mark, science. Yeah, speed modules are our answer. Uh, which is the one I remove? I remove that one. I actually think these guys are probably going to do it. Now that I've thrown those speed modules in there. Uh, L, module, 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 module. Nope, there's no more on the network. Uh, production stats, 10 minutes. Uh, 300 packs, 500 packs, uh, five seconds, uh, 500 packs. Can you stay on, on, on the screen, please? 500 packs, and we'll make it 400. Yep, that's my answer. That's my answer. So now I don't need that request, that request, that request, or that request. <sighs> okay. Please stop that, Biters. It's really annoying. 
All right, so we can supplement our Prob Mod 4s with some Speed Module... Uh, Prob Mod 6s with some Speed Module 6s um, just by upgrading... Well, actually, I might swipe you two. At least then you're selected. Uh, again, it'll never go away. Uh, but now we're down to just eight of these guys. Yeah, so this is now where I'm going to end this episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, I have nothing else I can procrastinate over so we're gonna have to do trains um yeah uh yeah yeah I have to do trains um we're gonna have to work out how to do oh, we got a steel build in the way uh we're gonna have to somewhere in this area do many many unload stations to do six lanes of copper six lanes of iron Another six lanes to do steel, one lane to do titanium. So what's that? Six, 12, 18, 18 unload stations. Oh crap, that's going to be a nightmare. All right, that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we play with trains. All right, bye.